well. So um, it uses the accelerometer here. And you see my guys on the screen, when I tilt this, um, he runs from side to side. And you have to avoid the falling balls. And again, that's really um, it. I'm going to turn it off so you can hear it a little. Oh, oh. I believe that ain't crushed me. Um, nope. That did. So you can see my score there is 6. My high score is 59. Um, and that's really all this app is. A very fun app, especially for being free. It uses the accelerometer. Um, oh, I just got hit again. Oh. Again, a really fun, entertaining app. There's not really multiple levels, but oh, the more, um, the higher your score gets, the more balls and the faster they start falling. So, again, fun app. Um, it's a 3D golf game for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Featuring some great console-like graphics and some incredibly excellent features and gameplay, Let's Golf is raising the bar for iPhone games of this genre. Starting up the game, the player will be given the option to play four different modes, Instant Play, Multiplayer, Tournament, or Free Hole. Instant Play randomly selects three holes for you to play quickly, while the Free Hole setting will allow the player to select their own holes and locations. Multiplayer offers both the Hot Seat mode, which players take turns on the same device, or the wireless mode, which allows friends to get on Wi-Fi together and host a game. At the beginning, you will pick your character, and character attributes are measured in four different ways, power, accuracy, recovery, and putting. As you win trophies in the tournament mode, more courses are unlocked, and additional difficulty levels, items, and golfers can be unlocked as well. With two different control schemes, players can use the traditional click once for power and the second time for alignment, or use their finger to manually swing the club, my personal favorite. This game is excellent. It feels great and is definitely pushing the device to its limits with its great graphics and gameplay. I did notice some frame rate issues that cost me a few shots, and the music also gets annoying, but that can be turned off in the menu. Overall, Let's Golf definitely has a lot to offer and I would recommend checking it out. It has a higher price tag, but it earns every bit of that price. This has been Ski Ball is pretty much an app that gives the player the chance to play arguably one of the most popular arcade games that can be found in arcades around the world. The objective is simple, toss balls towards the holes to score as many points as possible. The more points you can rack up, the more tickets you can earn. Tickets were an interesting addition to the mobile iPhone game. Every time you play the game, you'll earn tickets based on how well you do. Once you have enough tickets, you can then visit the store to buy different things, ranging from useless toys to different ball types that can be used in-game. The game played pretty smooth, about the same as every other flick game out there. The ball was sometimes inconsistent when throwing, as it would sometimes fall short of my target, even though I flicked quickly. This could have been user error, though, as I guarantee I'm not that consistent in my flicking. Still, the physics engine worked great, flopping the ball realistically over the barriers. Overall, the game is pretty straightforward, offering a fun and addicting experience without much variety in gameplay. It is being offered for dirt cheap in the App Store, so I would recommend grabbing it if you need a simple game that is good for killing some time. It really isn't the type of game that will stay long on your device, but for the time you have it, it is a ton of fun. Check it out. This has been Aaron. And switch user, you can change your online profile. So let's go to start game real quick. And um, it says drag blue atom and avoid the red atoms. As you can see, I'm the blue atom and they are the red atoms. So basically when they turn green, you can hit them. And when you hit them, it hits the other red ones and either totals them or turns them into green atoms that you can hit again. Um, so basically it's just about staying alive, not hitting the red atoms and let's see how long I can go. This game is very addicting guys. Um, it's free in the App Store, surprisingly. It is free guys. Go pick this up. Um, it's an application that I play a lot now. As you can see, I just died. Um, it says your score, 255, and it's to see your best score on the online leaderboards. And you can go to leaderboards or you can go back to the menu and play again. As you can see, this is highly addicting. I would have to give it a 9.5 out of 10, guys. That's a really, really, really good for a free application. Um. Poppy Jump Plus is an actual better version of Poppy Jump, which is a free app which you can try out. Poppy Jump, the option, or the focus of the game is to bounce on the low lines and get as high as you can without falling.
It uses full use of the accelerometer, letting you move side to side with your iPod, and then the ball moves, who is Poppy. And once you miss, you fall down, and it tells you your score. You can submit this score, we can go back, there's different types of this level you can play on hard, the fall option which the tiles fall, touch option we have to touch the sides then he moves, a right option which you're playing to the right instead of up, a move option which is similar to normal but the platforms are moving left and right, down, the you keep going down and you have enemy where people are chasing Poppy. I love this game because it's nice and fun, uh, simple, 99 cents in the App Store, there's this enemy version, 99 cents in the App Store, it's a very good buy, um, I find it very fun, so if you need a little fun game to play while you're bored, this is for you.